Taraba State is set to commence a second awareness campaign on HIV AIDS to reduce the incidence to 0%. This time around, it is in collaboration between the United States government and the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA. The Director General of NACA, Gambo Aliu, who led the delegation of USA to Jalingo, said that while the world continued to battle COVID-19, attention cannot be taken off the deadly HIV and AIDS, which still has no cure or vaccine. Our correspondent filed in this report. The United States tragedy effort to Nigerian Catholic Fit Gibbon is part of the delegation to Government House Jalingo. Their mission is to intimate the governor on the commencement of second phase campaign on HIV in view of covering the killer virus at midst of COVID-19 pandemic. The DG of NACA says the agency is impressed with the medical structure put in place by Governor Darius Ishaku, which they believe will go a long way in curbing the spread of HIV. Um, your ability to link the 150 primary health care with these um, three specialist hospitals for supervision um, your ability to train traditional bad attendants to attend to pregnant women in the rural areas give us hope and confidence. Governor Darius Ishaku told the delegation that through deliberate and concerted effort of his administration in less than a decade, the prevalence rate in the state has dropped from 10.5 in 2012 to 2.9 as of 2018, while the level of stigmatization has gone down drastically through high sensitization. I remember it was Taraba and I think Abia. And so I left my letter of plea with him. I was pleasantly surprised when I met Kathleen and he told me she's coming today. And one of the key points was to reactivate and give us the HIV Assistance. The United States tragedy affair to Nigeria, Kathleen Fitgibbon, believes Taraba offers good grounds for the collaboration to end HIV and AIDS. She's impressed by medical facilities put in place by government, promising to meet critical stakeholders and chant a way forward on their next line of action. Because ultimately the people living with HIV are living within these states. And we challenge the governors to do a number of things. Uh, help uh, allocate more resources towards HIV. Uh, end user fees, and stigmatization. Because the more you see an executive governor setting an example and talking about HIV and making people feel comfortable to go in and identify uh, whether or not they have HIV, that's the first step towards ending the epidemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has drawn the attention of key players away from HIV and its killer, which is yet to get medical breakthrough. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.